Hi friends, how are you today? Well, today is actually going to be my last video for Liturgy of the Word for Children. We will be starting in person in the church soon. So I hope you enjoyed all the videos over the past year and a half-ish. Um, I enjoyed doing them and today will be the last one. So it's the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, and our message is that we shall serve the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, we praise you and thank you for this time together. Increase our faith, help us to be your light in the world, through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So recently we heard Jesus say, I am the bread come down from heaven. It is a difficult idea to understand and believe. Did everyone who heard this understand what Jesus was saying? Did everyone believe what Jesus was telling them? Unfortunately, some people decided not to follow Jesus. Even though they saw Jesus do many amazing things and heard him speak about God's kingdom, they could not believe what he was telling them. Maybe they thought what Jesus was asking them to do was too hard or too much. They decided to go back to the lives they were leading before they met Jesus. Then Jesus asked his closest followers, the apostles, if they too wanted to leave. Peter answered for all the others. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The apostles had already spent time with Jesus. They learned about God from Jesus' teaching. They prayed with Jesus. They watched him help the poor and the sick and the hungry. They watched as he healed people. And when they heard Jesus saying he was bred from heaven, it was probably hard for them to understand. What's important to note, however, that even though they couldn't completely understand everything Jesus was telling them, they had complete faith in him. They were willing to stay with him. Peter's beautiful words sum it up. You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. Peter and the apostles thought that was a very good reason to stay with Jesus. What would you say if Jesus asked you, do you also want to leave? I don't think you would. God has chosen you to be one of his followers. Each day we listen and learn more about the teachings of Jesus. Each day we have to think about what we believe. Some things are easy to believe, other things are very hard. You will have a chance to make a lot of choices to serve Jesus. Let's think about some of them. You can choose to follow the class rules or not. You can choose to sit on the bus with someone you like or you can invite a new child to sit with you. You can choose good friends or you can choose friends that will get you into trouble. What other kinds of choices might you have? Something to think about. Sometimes it will be hard to make the choice to follow Jesus. There will be times when we'd rather be crabby or we'd rather not do our homework or follow a class rule or be kind to a classmate, but we trust Jesus to tell us what is true. When we come to church, we say, I believe, just like Peter. We will say the creed in a moment. How does it begin? I believe. Let us take a moment to be very quiet and think about what we believe. Let us listen to every word as we slowly recite the creed. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Well, I hope you really took the time to think about those words of the creed. Following Jesus makes us his disciples. Just as he calls upon his Father in heaven, we trust that we can bring our needs and prayers to God. So let's respond. God, give us your gracious care. So now I'd like to pray for you and your families that you are healthy and happy and will respond. God, give us your gracious care. So now it's your turn to think of something to pray for and you can say it out loud or hold it in your heart. And let's say, God, give us your gracious care. Okay, again, I hope you really thought about the words of the creed. It really makes us think about what we believe. Every day we make a choice to follow Jesus. We must constantly affirm our choice to stay close to him. Well, kids, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful year, and many, many more years. And I will see you at church.